channel. I've just got myself a piece of nice comb honey from my layin's frame. Can't get any fresher than that. Let's take a look. Hi everyone. So look at the honey. Look how thick this <laughs> I got I got this um a little bit too large. Look at that. Oh, it just smells so good. And uh, I had purchased some honeycomb a couple years ago now with the intention of doing ASMR. And it was $17, $16.99 at a farmer's co-op up in Topsfield. And, uh, yeah, I, I brought my mom up and I couldn't get myself to, to get into that. But yeah, so earlier today, I took out a frame and look at that. Wow. That's like over $150 based on that price of comb honey. Now, some of these cells, they're not capped. What the bees do is they fan and they, they uh, dehydrate the honey and get all the moisture. Once it's down below like 18, in between 13 and 18% um, moisture, they cap it. So you can see this is capped. But some of the cells here aren't capped. So let's try. It's a good thing I put some newspaper down here. I gotta wash my hands again if I wanna reposition the camera or the microphone. Okay, let's cut this into some smaller bite-sized squares. The honey's just going all over the place. Wow. So I'm gonna make myself an English muffin and have some honey on it and some a cup of tea. All right, my English muffins came out quicker than I thought they were going to. So let me get the butter on here. I took the butter out ahead of time. So it would be soft. This is going to be good. Yeah. So evidently this is an American thing. English don't know what I'm talking about when I say English muffins. I don't think it's a good idea to swallow the wax. Well, how am I going to get this honey onto an English muffin if, if I just squeeze it on there? me I'm gonna have a cup of tea. 
pour the hot water. So I bought a bucket, a food grade bucket, and then they have something called a, a honey gate, which is just, a, you know, an on off. Uh, it's a door that, you know, you can open and close to let the honey out so you can bottle it or whatever you're going to do with it. So tomorrow I'll extract the honey and uh, break up all the, the wax. Let gravity separate the honey out of the wax and then melt the wax. I guess I can make a candle or something. 
you can even sell beeswax. People buy it for soap, I think, too. so good with the combination of butter and honey. Warm melted butter. Well, I think I just about reached my sugar limit. Let me just take one more bite of this. Wow. Just a joke. Well, I actually did put the bee in my mouth, but it's a drone. Drones don't have stingers. So there were a lot of drones flying today. The drones, all they do, these are the male bees, they eat and then they go out on mating flights with the queens from other hives. But all they do is eat. They don't, they don't, uh, bringing resources to the hive so in the fall they get kicked out of the hive before winter because they're going to just eat and not provide any any help so that's just a bee humor right there boomer bee humor I'll see if I can get him back into the hive whoops He's getting more energetic after I gave him some honey. Put him back in the jar here. He's starting to buzz. Well, thanks everyone for stopping by. That was some natural, I was gonna say homemade, but the bees made it. It was some natural honeycomb from my own hive that I took out of the hive uh, today. And stay tuned, I bought some phyllo dough and some walnuts. And I'm going to make some baklava.
Amazon affiliate link in the description to make any of your Amazon purchases. And uh, I didn't uh, check to see whether there was a increase in tra traffic for that uh, that sale. That what would they call that again? Amazon Prime. But uh, yeah, thank you for your comments and continued support. And until next video, which might or might not be a baklava video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.